Long time no see. Wow, has it really been more than a month already? Well, a lot of things have been going around lately, so you'll have to excuse my absence. At least I hope you do. First, we had Yom Kippur. Then we had Sukkot, which ended like about three days ago. And between that, I went on a five day vacation to the beautiful, beautiful Rhodus Greek. Oh my god, guys. I basically spent my entire vacation on the beaches over there reading. I never understood beach reads before because beaches over here in Israel are loud and extremely hot and I could never see the point of going there to read. But now I totally get it. If I had their beaches, I would go reading there every single day because it's so quiet and calming and clean and the air is fantastic. But I don't. So no beach reads for me, usually. Anyways, today's a top 10 Tuesday vlog. This week's theme is top 10 bookish turnoffs. I am really, really happy and excited about this theme because, let's be honest, I really, really, really love Brandon. So, without further ado, let's begin. First on my list is Instalove. You're crossing the street. Suddenly, your eyes meet his. He's beautiful, and something in your soul calls out to him. Immediately, you know without a doubt, you will die for him. No matter the fact that the first time you talk to him is a total douchebag, and you don't know him, and there is absolutely nothing good about him, and, like, seriously, why are you in love with him? Basically, for me, instant love means instant turn off. See what I did there? I love watching two people fall in love. Usually when you have insta-love, you don't have that. You don't get it. You're just like, bam, they're in love. Congratulations. Now the thing is, you can write good insta-love. I mean, a good insta-love is an insta-love you don't feel is an insta-love. Which basically means you like have to rewind in your head and be like, wait, did they really just know each other for two weeks? Oh my god, I thought it was like two years. That's good insta love. Unfortunately, in the market today, there is about like you know, out of every hundred books with insta love, only one is doing it right. Second, love triangle. I do not believe you can love two people at the same time. You can be attracted to two people. You can crush on two people. You can lust after two people. You cannot truly and honestly love two people. And quite frankly, it's annoying when half the book is spent on, oh my god, who am I going to choose? Both are so great! What if I make the wrong choice? I mean, he is nice and smart and serious, but oh my god, that one is hot and he's such a bad boy! So yeah, no. Another instant turn off is cheating. Cheating is not okay, people. You are unhappy in your relationship. Dump the guy, then move on. How about that? It makes, it makes sense, right? It's like, amazing that even though it makes sense, some people seem unable to think about it. Another turn off is the Bella Syndrome. What is the Bella Syndrome, you ask? Well, the Bella Syndrome is when you fall in love with a guy. Then something goes wrong and he leaves your life or something along those lines and you become totally pathetic and suicidal and, and like comatose and stuff like that. Um, no, you can hurt. You can cry, you can feel turn up inside, it's okay. Sometimes it's too much if, we, if you mention it every two sentences, but it's okay. But you do not stop living your life because a guy left you. Oh my god. Where is... I mean... Power. Strength. Character. When girls just break down and become a pathetic like that because of a guy, I'm like, examples for that are, well, of course, we have Bella from Twilight, 
Then we have Pagan from Existence by Abby Glines. Then lately I've read um, The Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. The first part, Megan, like Bella Syndrome, right there, right in front of you. Mind fucks. Yes, that's right, I went there. Books that are extremely dark and venture into that really, really psychological shit that makes your brain go like, what? The entire read is scaring me. Especially if it has to do, you know, with um, that syndrome that people get when they get kidnapped or with slavery or anything of that sort, like um, the dark duet, I think that's how it's called. And I just read the synopsis and like that really freaky, freaky relationship. That scares the shit out of me. I don't like getting all messed up inside. Because I'm already messed up inside as it is. So add to that more mess and I'm like, hot mess. So mind fucks are like a little bit not my territory. I bet I couldn't learn to enjoy them in the future, but right now it's like just a turn off to hear all those. Hmm. Dark, dark, dark realities. What else do I have that is a turn off? Oh my god, I don't know. Like, there are stuff that will subjectively bother me, but it really depends on the read. Like, I have a very few defined pet peeves and turn offs in books, and the rest is just like depending on the book. Because one thing that might annoy me in one book can be really, really fantastic and great in another for me. So it's not like I have a very defined list of turn-offs. Aside for those like five or four. God. I really can't think of another turn-off. What are your turn-offs? Maybe you'll give me ideas and then I can add them in like a second book turn-offs video. Or maybe not. If no one comments as usual. Well guys, thank you for being here for this week's Top 10 Tuesday vlog. I had a lot of fun making this video even though it's like only 4 or 5 turn offs. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will join us in the future. Check out my blog for reviews, memes, book discussions, everything. I am looking forward to hearing from you in the comments below or, you know, just in general, hearing from you, because I like hearing from you people. So, bye! I'm a fish.